Basically, one of the ways you can construct a portfolio is what you call cash neutral. And so what that means is, let's just say you had two assets that both cost you around a hundred dollars, yeah? And you expect one to go up and the other one to go down. What, what you do is you go long one and short the other. So you pay one hundred dollars for, for one. But when you short sell, you get another hundred dollars. And what you can do is you can fund this and you actually end up being net zero. You don't pay anything for your portfolio. I mean, it's not quite strictly true because normally you pay a margin and you also, when you short sell, you have to pay some interest and so on. So there are, there are charges, but for, for all the sake of, of, of keeping it simple right now, you actually, what you call cash neutral, you, your portfolio doesn't cost you anything. That means you could technically have a million dollars on one side or billion dollars on one side, a billion dollars on the other side, and your portfolio is effectively free. And if they move apart like this in the right direction, you make an absolute bucket load of money. Now, now it doesn't quite work like this. Your, your broker probably won't allow you to, to put a billion dollars on both sides. But from a mathematical perspective, that's possible. And it's interesting that even that you can actually make money with something that doesn't cost you anything, which is in some sense quite fascinating, right? So let's have a quick look into what this looks like. But first of all, let's just run this basically with these weights here equating to one, because that's actually the more realistic scenario. And you will also see in a moment when you use an optimizer like this, when we put a sum of weights to zero, why this is not always such a good thing, but you will see that in a moment. So we run the optimization and then we're running our res. And what you can see here is we've got a sharp ratio of 0.75. Yeah. Now I'm not sure forgot from last week or what our sharp ratios were before. But it looks like here we've got 0.75 as well. So it hasn't actually changed. And why has it not changed? Look at this. This is interesting. We actually still haven't got any negative weights in there. So our optimizer just said, oh, okay, we'll make them all positive. Obviously, because it sees that they're all going up to some extent, nothing is actually going down. So, so there's no need for the optimizer to do anything or to go negative. It may want to do this, for example, here with TLT. Now, one thing we could do is look at this here, TLT, this goes down, whereas everything else goes up. Now, if we only optimize, let's say for the last two or three years, say for the last three years since 2020, then it might actually be quite different. So let's just give this a go. And the way we do this is we're limiting our date range here. So what we do is we go, we start at 2020 and we go all the way to the end. So let's run this. So it actually plots the whole thing, but let's just see. Ah, there we go. See, mm -hmm. now TLT is actually negative. Negative is minus, minus 0 0.6 approximately. Yeah. So when you actually look at this, these two here, they cancel out the TLT and then it makes one of them just brutally to one. So which one is it? I guess gold. Gold is our first asset. So it sets gold brutally to one. So it's actually in some funny way, not a smart optimizer. So it basically sets those three to zero. And then this one is just one <laughs> in order to force it to be one. Now, obviously that's not ideal, right? That's not necessarily good, but given the constraints we've given it, that's the best it can do. Now let's have a look, get rid of this again here. What happens if we sum up all our weights to zero? Now, my question to you is, how would you do that? How would you sum up all your weights to zero? To sum them up, like we would have to have, like if something goes negative, we would have to have like the same amount in the positive range. How to do that? I mean, we have four assets, so. No, I mean, I mean, in terms of our, our constraints, how would you 
do it to basically have the sum of our weights being zero. That has to sum up to zero in total. Yes. Yeah, so so I think we would <laughs> we would change like the sum w minus one to. I'm not sure if it's just sum zero, like yeah, kind of sum w equals to zero, something like that. Yeah. Well, it's almost. You basically just get rid of the minus one, oh, and then right. yeah, and then it just equals to zero, right? And that's it. 